Chapter 3, number 15, Explanation of the Origin of the Soul, the Nishama. Now we shall explain the matter of the origin of the Nishama, the soul. It has been said that she is a part of God from above. We asked, how and in what does the tsua, the shape of the Nishama, of the soul, differ from his simple light? that separates her from everything. We can now understand that there is really a great disparity of form in her. Although it contains all the conceivable and imaginable forms, still after the above words, you find one tsua, one form that is not contained in him, namely the form of the will to receive. For whom would he receive from? However, the Nishamot, the souls, whose creation came about because he wanted to delight them, which is the thought of creation, were necessarily carved with his law of wanting and yearning to receive his shefa, his abundance. That is, where they differ from him, because their tzua, their form, is different from his. It has already been explained that the corporeal essence becomes separated and divided by the force of motion and remoteness of location. However, the spiritual essence becomes separated and divided by disparity of form. The measure of disparity of form determines the measure of distance between one another. In the dispar if the disparity of form becomes completely opposite from one end to the other, then they are completely severed and separated and can no longer suck from one another, for they are regarded as alien to one another. Questions? Not understood, or everything is understood? What is the spiritual essence that is separated by disparity of form? Spiritual essence is the relation of the Creator to the created being. What does He want to tell us here? Clarifying the where the soul comes from. What is it, a part of God above? What does it mean, a part of God above? How could you say that there are parts of the Creator and that there is a, a part of the Creator in each and every created being? How can that be? Rather, when the created being transforms, shapes his will to receive to be similar to the will to bestow, then he feels what is this, the shape of bestowal. And the shape of bestowal is the creator. So the created being discerns a certain aspect, a certain portion of that in himself.